Hey guys, I'm making another video, so two videos, I guess. I just made one about creating habits, breaking bad ones, um, something I read in my power devotional uh, that was really helpful for me. But I also thought I'd bring up, since today is Easter, technically, um, I thought I would bring up the fact that we all have temptations, and temptations, a lot of times for me, with my food issues, happen around the holidays. It's very difficult because there's always food and for Easter, I'm sure there's something, you know, um, it goes Thanksgiving is the worst. Christmas is pretty bad because it's with New Year's and then and it has the biggest break. Usually it seems like the longest time of like rest. And then Easter is okay, but still any kind, you know, Valentine's Day, it doesn't matter. Always a temptation around food. Um, so if you haven't seen my first video that I made prior to this one, I would check that out first because it's kind of connected since it's about habits and breaking bad ones with new ones. And I want to like jump back on that and say that, you know, form new habits around holidays. That's something I was think thinking and trying to do. For example, usually on holidays, I am not busy and I'm focusing on what can I have that tastes so good you know, myself, I'm thinking of myself in that time. Sorry, I just started with bothering me. I'm thinking of myself and how I can satisfy myself and satisfy my appetite. Um, but what about, what if we, what if you switch the focus, which I've been trying to do for myself, to first of all, how you could serve other people, which personally makes me happier sometimes than any of the food, obviously, that I will put in my mouth. Like, how can I serve people? Like, uh, what I did was made like, an apple pie and gave it around gave it all away you know like that was something like yeah it was like food related but like that was a switch instead of me eating it all i gave it away um and people were happy and were making me happy another thing is i stayed busy for christmas and for thanksgiving although i had temptations i worked both at the at the store right now which is perfect because actually Holidays are a big time when it's busy at the store because it's clothing shop, st uh, shop. So people want to buy outfits for Christmas, for Easter, for Thanksgiving, for every every event, you know. So I worked that day. I worked Christmas actually like Eve, I think. Christmas Day was closed, but Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, I worked. And on top of that, I worked uh, doing a house sitting job with like dogs and stuff, you know. Like, to clear off somebody's house, basically, during that time. And that really helped me to stay busy because, yeah, I wasn't focused on school or, like, other stuff that's usually, like, that would I typically would focus on because, you know, there's a break. There's, like, Easter break, spring break, Christmas break, whatever. Like, I'm not busy with school. Um, but I was able to put a schedule, in fact, probably more busy than on the usual days. Um, and which was good for me because on usual days, if I'm not busy, like on my typical schedule days, I'm not as tempted because everybody's busy and everybody's doing something and I can find myself a way to be busy. But on holidays when everything is closed, lots of temptation of food, like it is harder. So I was really glad that that turned out that way. But it's a new habit that I've been trying to do. It's just keep busy during the holidays, try to keep busy um, and find stuff, opportunity, find volunteer jobs, find... I'm sure there's plenty of things you could volunteer at during the holidays, like just helping with decorating, helping with your neighbors, helping like anybody around, like people always need help. So it's honestly like whether you're getting paid for it or not, for me, the satisfaction of helping out and making people happy is greater than any satisfaction of like being tempt tempted and going into this temptation and binging out. You know what I mean? Like I feel so much worse after that than if I go and help my neighbors or like find a little like, it could be a, like my sister, for example, finds like has somebody she knows and they pay her to help move or watch your kids. Pe people always need your know, babysitters, stuff like that. And you could do it at like any age, you know, like, um, and this is just maybe for, for college students more likely to be maybe really, I don't know, like, I don't know, like, because I feel like people that are, have families might be already, like already busy enough, they don't need to be more busy, like if they have kids and stuff, they could, you could serve your kids or serve your family, and you know what I mean, like, make them something, um, help them decorate, help them clean, like focus on cleaning, it's just about 
the mind switch. And I know it's hard because I, I struggle with it. Sometimes I can, you know, multiple times in a day, I'll think about food and organizing my food and mm, like, like when I'll eat, how I'll eat, how much I eat. It's all, it's been for that, like that for a long, long time. And it doesn't matter what I do, no matter like if I try intu intuitive eating or not intuitive eating or whatever I try, it just doesn't, it just doesn't do it, you know? So yeah, guys, I hope that was somewhat inspirational to you. And um, I guess it's kind of a part two, but yeah, hopefully for the holidays, you'll definitely find something to do. And um, sometimes it's even to the point of like watching a movie, you know, and not uh, maybe working out, change that habit, add, add like a special holiday workout. And I know it's hard to like do that, but like what I like to do is around the holidays is go for a nice long walk, especially if it's nice outside with a family member. Um, and that sometimes, like, I, I look at, I, I focus on the nature, like, I see the nature, and nature is very ther therapeutic, because everything is going at the right pace, everything is in harmony, everything is, um, it is out of our control, like, if you think about it, nature is completely out of our control, like, we cannot control nature, but yet it brings us some kind of peace, or most people, maybe not everybody, but for me, it brings me a lot of peace. The stuff I can control, money, food, like alcohol, any addiction kind of thing. Um, TV, like anything, literally anything you can control does bring it stress you know but nature like honestly like nature doesn't bring me stress like when i i'm stressed when like i i feel like i'm you know can't can't control the stuff i could control if that makes sense but when i'm there like outside it's like i can't control any of this it seems like um and it's, it's just i don't know beautiful i think so maybe i'm wrong this is just my opinion by the way guys like you don't have to I'm not no, you know, like, expert, professional, you know, I don't know. I just want to help you guys out. I just want to share my thoughts. Um, so enjoy ho the holidays, no matter what you guys are celebrating. There's many holidays around, you know, Easter time. But in America, you see everywhere, like, the, you know, bunnies and the people buying outfits and stuff like that. And, um... And even, you know, after Easter, there's going to be holidays. July 4th will come up. This, isn't, this can be applied to any holiday, honestly. No matter what you celebrate, don't celebrate. Valentine's Day, like, I don't know. Valentine's Day already in the past, but still. Uh, I just like keeping my videos up to date so that this is the thoughts that I have around this time of year. And I'm sure I'm not the only ones I like to share so that other people can, you know. Feel, feel support or that they're not alone. So hopefully it helped and see you guys in the next video. Bye.